Hello, good day everyone. I am Adiola of Dandy Fashion School, School of Elegance and Styles. Don't forget when you fashion designs and bag making. And then today, as usual, I'll be going into the bag making section. Don't forget this channel, this YouTube channel is purposely for bag making. So without wasting much of our time, please let's get started into the main work. So today I'll be making this beautiful piece of bag and then can you see how lovely the bag is looking? It has an handle, yeah. This is the handle that I'm holding right now. So it has an handle, it has a zipper also, can you see? So it has a zipper also. It has a bigger handle also, can you see? So it has a bigger handle also and aside this bigger handle, it also has a back strap, do you understand? It has a back strap. So let's get started into the drafting, cutting and the sewing section. I already have all my patterns cut out already but I'll be going through it once again. So this is the multicolor material that I'll be using for the mixing of the main body and then this is the handle. I'll be making use of two pieces of handle. I'll be needing two pieces of zip flap also. This is my hand, this is my metal handle. So the covering that I'll be using for the metal handle, I'll be needing two pieces for it. And then this is my side, I'll be needing two pieces for the size. This is my back strap. So I'll be needing one piece for the back strap. So that's all for what we need for the making of the bag. So this is my pattern, this is my pattern, this is my main body pattern. And then uh, this side, at uh, the size that I'll be measuring, one inch it was actually three quarter it was when i pierced the o that it moved to one inch but and then from the upper part also i'll be measuring one inch and the distance between the two o's is one and a half inches do you understand so the distance between the two is one and a half inches i left one inch on both sides and then one inch at the upper part before creating my two o's so in total i have four o's so on my main body material which is the front and the back so i'll be marking i'll be tracing out the o's so that i can fix in my highlights the measurement that i actually use for the main body is 14 by 14 inches do you understand so it is in a square shape 14 inches of width and then 14 inches of length So now I'm done fixing the eyelet on both front and back body. So the next thing I need to do now is to take the front body and then I'll be cutting, I'll be needing a multicolor piece of material. I'll be locating the middle of the 14 inches, which is the 7 inches. So on that piece of material, I make it of one one quarter. Can you see one one quarter? So I'll be locating the middle also and then I'll be fixing it on the body, on the main body of the material. So just watch me closely. So I'm done with the first step. So the next thing I need to fix now is the zip side. So I make use of one, one and a half inch. And then for the length, I make use of six inches. Can you see? So I have two pieces cut out already. So I'll be fixing in my zip. So 
so now i'm done fixing my zip side and the next thing i need to do now is to fix it to the main body so i'll be fixing it to the front and the back body so what i need to do is to just locate the middle so i'll be locating the middle which is three inches and then i'll be locating the middle of the main body also and then i'll be fixing one to the front body while i'll be fixing the other one to the second body which is the back body So now I'm done fixing the zip side. So the next thing I need to do now is to take both the front and the back body, and then I will be joining it at the bottom side. Do you understand? So I'll be joining it with just half an hinge. So now I'm done joining the damp part. So the next thing I need to do now is to cut my side. Do you understand? Don't forget I'll be needing two sides. And then in cutting that, what I need to do now is to take the measurement. Don't forget I said the measurement, the actual measurement, which is the length and the width, is 14 inches. So now 14 inches, I already take out take out half inch for joining of the bottom side. So, so I'm left with 13 and a half inches. So the width of the size that I want to use is four and a half inches. You can decide to make it of three and a half. You can decide to make it of four, four and a half. It all depends on how wide you want it to be. Do you understand? So I'll be making use of four and a half inches. So that four and a half inches, I'll be dividing it into two. <laughs> And when you divide four and a half inches into two, you have two one quarter. So what I need to do now to get the length of what I want, I will take that two one quarter. I will subtract it from the 13 and a half inches left. So what I need to just do is to just take out two one quarter from the length of 13 and a half inches. Do you understand? So I'll be needing two pieces and let's get started into the fixing. So before fixing it to the main body, I'll be fixing my D-ring to both sides. Do you understand? So I'll be fixing my D-ring to both sides before fixing the sides to the main body. So now I'm done fixing my D-ring to the side. So the next thing I need to do now is to fix the side to the main body. So what I need to do is just to follow the shape. <laughs>
mixing the first size and then I will be repeating the same process for the other side. I'm done fixing both sides and then I what I need to do is just to turn it outside to see the outcome so just make sure all the edges comes out very well do you understand so just try as much as possible to make sure all the edges comes out So the next thing I need to do now is to sew the covering of the hand. Do you understand? Don't forget I said the hand will be having a covering. So in that, the measurement I use for the covering is I make use of 11 and a half inches for the length. And then for the width, I make use of 2 inches. So what I need to do is just to fold it into equal parts and then sew one side of it. And then once I'm done with the first covering, I'll be repeating the same process for the second also. Please, this part, I would like you to omit this part for now. Do you understand? Because it was actually a mistake. I shouldn't have fixed the covering to the undo. So when I get to that stage, I will let you know. So the next thing I need to sew now is the second undo, which is the side undo. So I have the width of one and a half inches and then the length of the length of 27 inches yeah the length of 7, 27 inches and then what i need to do is to fold it into equal parts and then sew it don't forget i mentioned earlier that i'll be needing two pieces of this side and do and then after that i'll be fixing my eyelet to the tip of both side do you understand so to this part and then to the other side also i'll be fixing my highlights so now I'm done fixing my highlights to both sides. Can you see? So the part that I asked you to omit earlier. So this is the part now. So what I need to do now is to fix in my meta undo. So in fixing my meta undo, I'll be removing the covering. Don't forget I said it was actually a mistake. I shouldn't have fixed the covering at first. So I'll be removing the covering from the meta undo. <laughs> So the first thing I need to do now is to make the metal undo pass through the side and do, do you understand? So I'll be making the undo pass through the eyelet, do you understand? So I'll be making the eye, I'll be making the undo to pass through the eyelet, the first two eyelet and then it is after that that we'll fix in the covering.
after I have successfully fixing the covering, then I'll make the undo to pass through the two eyelets that is left. And then fixing the other side of the undo. Can you see the other side of the undo? There's actually a bolt that I actually loosed from that part. So I'll be putting the bolts back and then I'll be tightening it back. I'll be repeating the same process for the second and do. So now I'm done fixing both and you can you see the down part, can you see the size, can you see how lovely it is. So the last thing I need to do now is to fix in my zip head. So I'll be fixing my zip head and then after fixing my zip head I'll be fixing in the closure. So in fixing the closure I just, need, I just need to cut a little piece of material and then use it as my closure. everyone we've come to the end of today's tutorial can you see how lovely the bag is can you see can you see the house come can you see how lovely the bag is you can make it more bigger than this and you can make it more slower um, smaller than this so it all depends on your preference it depends on how you want it can you see the bag so don't forget your back strap you'll be needing a back strap i actually don't have a snap that's why i didn't fix my back strap but i'm sure you know how to fix a back strap so you just need to fix it to where i fixed my during so please if you know you are returning subscriber thank you so much i appreciate you every day i appreciate you every time and if you know you've been coming to this channel but you've not yet subscribed you've been benefiting from this channel please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the like and share button and if you know this is your first time of coming to my channel trust me you are in the right channel like you found the right channel to learn more videos about bag making so please click on the subscribe button don't forget to click on the like button as well and lastly don't forget to share and comment so if there's a part you need more clarification please drop it in the comment section i will reply so for this purpose i make use of double faced leather material you can decide to make use of any leather material you want you can make use of single material but for this purpose i will prefer i actually prefer a double faced leather material so see you some other time bye